What's up everybody? It is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit the red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel. Make sure you guys tell your alliance about the channel because they're going to get better from this and it's only going to make your alliance better so that you guys can win your kingdom or if you're already winning your kingdom, it'll help you win Kingdom Conquest, Dragon Campaign, all of the other events. So guys, I've gone over the prestige levels in the four main buildings and the drill grounds and stuff before, but President Nixon from 1545 asked me about some of the other buildings because i've never really gotten into the prestige levels on those so i figured you know what sounds like a good idea let's go ahead and take a look at what higher prestige levels offer you in some of the other buildings so in case you're new here and you haven't checked the other buildings when you get to prestige 5 on this you learn the new skill trample and random shot trample is for the night line random shot is for the um t9 uh, strike archer line so Whenever you go up in prestige, you get an upgrade on a new skill. So, like, um, upgrade one is for charge, um, dash, and dodge. That's for the knights. So, the divine knights get an upgrade at prestige one. Prestige two, you get uh, charge, dash, and resource battles. So that's, like, for the strike archer. So, then it just rotates. Strike archer, divine knight, strike archer, divine knight. Or, I mean, divine knight, strike archer, divine knight, strike archer. Then, on the fifth one... You get the new skills for the Divine Knight and the Strike Archer. Trample for Divine Knight, Rainbow Shot for Strike Archer. Now that's for each building. So the, you know, the T10 Siege and the T9 Siege also have their own skills that you learn. And they have their own skills that you upgrade on each level. So those are the main buildings. I've already done this before. That's not what this is all about. So let's just check out each building and what, what bonuses it's going to give you. So the Depot. Okay, now you can see... Um, Every time you upgrade it, you're going to upgrade the um, amount of storage that you have. Well, I don't know if it's out in the game yet, but once you get this to Prestige 5, you can actually see the amount of uh, resources that are... Um, or no, you can plunder uh, an amount of safe resources. So, here, as you can see for me, I've got a Prestige 3. I can plunder 4% of someone's safe resources. Now, if I get this up to Prestige 5, I can plunder up to like maybe 10% of the person's safe resources. So that's a big deal because, uh, you know, if someone's got a lot of safe resources, you're going to be able to take, uh, you know, as much as they've got. So if they've got 100 million wood, I could plunder, what, 4 million of it? So, you know, it's a lot better than if they didn't, you know, if they didn't have any safe resources, then I wouldn't be able to steal anything. So... We're going to go in order here, so that's what that does. Now, I've never checked the um, blacksmith. I doubt it's anything that great. So, as you can see, it just continues 32, 34, 36, 38, 40%. So, the steel decrease, um, steel cost decrease, and then the foraging speed. Now, that foraging speed does help. If you've already maxed out everything, it will help you because I'm waiting eight days to get a level 43 piece of equipment done. The peerless helmet. I just need the peerless and I'll have all 43 and then I'm going to get the equipment set for my pants. I'll show you that in a separate video. So, take a look at the embassy. So, of course you need the embassy to upgrade your Hall of War. So, it's a very important building to upgrade. That's why I might have Prestige 5. But, um, it also increases your reinforcement capacity and time reduced by help. Which is when you, you know, get help by your allies when you're making a building. So, now it decreases by 132 seconds once you get to Prestige 5. So, yeah, the main thing for that's to get this done, the Hall of War. So, as you can see, you get more rally troops in each one. So, 1.37, um, and that's before the science and the, um, that's before the science and the alliance science bonuses. So, take a look at the college. So, as you can see, it doesn't tell you anything here, but there's a lot of science in the college that requires you to have a prestige, uh, college. So, let's go ahead and go to advanced military let's go down and check out like commander for instance commander you need um like to get each one done you need a prestige level so i think for level one commander which is going to give you like um i think two, 1500 troops or 2000 troops you need a prestige one then it goes up two three four five and to get legion expansion you need a prestige five uh college to get the legion expansion done that gives you one extra march so it's pretty it's a really amazing uh it's a really amazing science and then stuff like this this all costs um you all to get all this done the, the like higher tier sciences in each one of these you're going to need a prestige five so let's see if it tells you here it doesn't tell you yeah okay see how it says college prestige four i'm gonna need a prestige four to, re, to get the rally assault which is a really good skill 
I'll never have the research stems to get it done. I'm still needing the... I want the War Maniac very bad because that's 3% overall attack. Um, let's see if I've uh, showed you the drill grounds before. So drill grounds is important, of course, because you get like about 5,000 extra marching troops for each prestige level. So as you can see here, you're getting about 20,000 extra troops by prestiging your drill grounds. So drill grounds is very important as well. I don't think I needed to explain that. But here's one that is pretty cool. Let's go to the watchtower, which I'm going to be prestiging actually now. Um, and the reason I'm going to be prestiging it is because it offers some really cool things. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the watchtower can give you. So upgrading the watchtower can yield more detailed scout reports. So let's go to more information. So prestige one, scouting speed increased by 10%. Prestige two, speed up scouting by 30%. Uh, level three. Speed up by 60%. Level 4, speed up by 100%. And here's where it gets crazy. Prestige 5. This scout can scout the remaining time of the enemy's peace shield. So, if you've got someone you really hate and you want to know when their shield ends, a lot of people sometimes like set timers and maybe they're 10 seconds late, 20 seconds late to get their shield up. Well, now you can sniff that out and you can be in there ready to deal them down real nice. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm going to get mine up to Prestige 5. So, we're going to recruit a second builder. And I'm going to start prestiging that. So, let's get all the ones inside, like, my walls done first. Speaking of that, let's do the walls. So, uh, you can see my protection odds and my damage reduction is 16%. That's from Prestige 3 wall. Um, more information. You can increase the city defense by 500 each time. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, the wall is, like, one of the ones where I don't really think it's going to be worth, um, you know, increasing. Of course, you're going to get your trap capacity up each time you upgrade and uh your city defense but i don't think it's worth all the resources badges and speed ups to get the walls done the walls are probably like the least important one out of the bunch so wishes uh the wishing well i mean it doesn't give you much it gives you more resources each time and then it gives you um more free wishes each time they need to add more incentives to the wishing well to make it really worth getting up to that many prestigious so i just have mine at 30 still Okay, let's take a look at the market. So let's go to the details. So, of course, the tax rate's going to go down and the max caravan load's going to go up each time you upgrade it. So as you can see here, the tax rate actually, wow, it stays 10% the highest you can get. But your max caravan load does go up. And what it doesn't tell you, let's see if it tells you. Okay, it doesn't tell you this, but I'm 99% sure, guys, that if you get to Prestige 2 market you can then trade some safe resources so um and i think you can then receive safe resources as well i'm not sure if it's prestige 2 or prestige 3 i'll find that out for you and i'll leave it in the description but i know that one of those will give you that let's take a look at the fortress i don't really you know i'm not a fan of the fortress but um wow they don't even have any prestige information for the fortress that's pretty interesting let's try it nope you can't even prestige a fortress so i didn't even know that it's just such junk i had never even tried it so you know what? I'm going to get into the turrets before I forget them because I've been told, and I'm going to start upgrading them, that the turrets get really good at prestige levels. Okay, so let's go. As you can see, the attack speed goes up every level. Right now, mine are only at 25% because I never cared about turrets. You know, I don't really get attacked enough for it to matter, but if you're getting, like, dual skilled, like for me, I don't really have to worry about getting attacked much. I mean, but I can get dual skilled, and the turrets will help me in the dual skills, so it's going to be important for me to get my turrets up. Um... So, I guess you would want to get them all the way up to level 30. I'm not sure if you can actually prestige them or not. I don't know because mine are so low. But, I think that you can prestige them. So, let's check something out here. Let's go. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go to details. More information. Okay, so it does tell me the prestige level. So, guys, let me know. Can you prestige the turrets or not? If not, I'm sure they'll add it in the future. But, um... I was told that you could prestige them, so um, that's pretty interesting uh, if you can't. Let's take a look at the Wonder. I don't think it gives you any, like, bonuses. It should, but yeah, the Wonder gives you no bonuses. To get a Prestige 5 Wonder, you would just have to have everything else done, and you're just really, really bored, and you're hoping a Prestige 6 comes, but I don't think it will come. Um, so, well, I've been told it was it isn't coming. We've all been told it's not coming from the official statements on the Clash of Kings social media. Okay, let's take a look at the military tents. As you can see, I got most of mine up to Prestige 4, Prestige 5, and then a couple still Prestige 3, which I'm working on. 
as you can see uh, it'll get your turtle training up and your volume up let's go to the more information as you can see the training speed goes up each prestige level and the volume goes up each prestige level normally it rotates as you can see here um, let's start like down here so you've got um, you know at level 12 it's 60 and 7% at level 13 it's 70 and 7% at level 14 it's 70 and 8 percent see how it like rotates like double double 80 80 8 9 then it goes 90 90 9 10 so it goes up like that and then um you know at the prestige it does both so at the, each prestige level you go up uh two percent training speed 10 percent or um 10 volume so it's really important uh that'll get your training speed up really really proper so once you've got all your buildings done um i would say in order of importance your troop buildings then your uh drill grounds then your embassy and um war hall of war then your science then i would say these are your next priority okay so let's take a look at the hospital that's what i would believe would be the next priority so you're going to get a thousand extra wounded on each level so you know you get 500 wounded on each regular level so a thousand wounded on each level that's double but let me show you why a thousand is very important so it might not look that that important but when you take into effect all of the science and everything like if i was to put on do i got enough for hopefully i do come on now why did it just do that okay i need two thousand two thousand glass to get that done so let's take a look at the purple so i can show you what i'm talking about if you take a look at the science the um healing speed 15 percent or i mean hospital capacity um plus uh twenty thousand. um well there's also buffs which buffs are they i think it's equipment maybe why am i like forgetting what buffs they are anyways one of them adds um like it goes up by some oh i know what it is it's vip 10 so like when you look at the svip 10 well vip 10 is where you get the hospital capacity would it even let me go back that far well, let me go back to regular. I, I don't think it will. I've been SVIP 10. So now it won't let me go. Okay, yeah. VIP 10. Plus 30% hospital capacity bonus. So when you've got those extra thousands that add up, then when you get it times by a percentage, it really makes a big difference. So that's what that does. Okay, let's take a look at the resources because they're not really that important um, details. So as you can see... Um, when you prestige these they don't i mean they just give you more resources so the resources we don't really need to go over um if you got everything else done of course you need some of them like you need that to prestige three to get to prestige four um so some of them are important some of them are not um but you just want to basically do the ones that you need to to get to the next stage and um yeah that's pretty much it for the prestige levels of all the buildings that i've never showed you guys before as soon as these new buildings get into the game, guys, I will be making videos on them as well. Um, if you didn't check my video earlier on the dragon, um, it should be popping up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that teamwork makes dream work. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with two more videos. I'm going to do a couple videos a day to catch up. And um, let me down, know down below if you want to see more beta videos. Uh, if you do, then I'll start doing beta videos as much as you want. What do you want to see in beta? And I'll go ahead and go make a video on beta. Do you want me to see me zero someone? Do you want to see more stuff tested? Tell me what to test. I can test anything in the game. Tell me what to test and I'll take the time to do it. So if you click my picture right here, guys, the, um, my Daydreams logo, that uh, will let you subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And then you can click the, the video right there that's popping up as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.